I love the fact that you went to college. I can ask you anything. Well, yeah, I know, that doesn't mean you're going to know it, but still, you are more informed than I am just by default. So if you say something, there's a modicum of credibility there just out the gate. And the reason I bring this up is because I really wanted to ask you a question. Which is, can I present my theory to you? Yes, I have a theory. Well, you think just because I work in a factory that I'm not allowed to have a scientific mind? Come on. You know me better than that by now. Yes. Just let me tell it to you. Come on, please. You'll love it. I promise. Yes, I understand that you went for nursing and that this has nothing to do with what you actually went to college for, but it doesn't matter. You're educated. That's all it takes. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. As we both know, there are an infinite amount of numbers. Therefore, would it not stand to reason that there would also have to be an infinite amount of names for those numbers? So would you not eventually get to the point that numbers are called stuff like Mike and Banana Zillion? What? What? It's a serious question. Okay, the names are silly, but for real. I mean, how long do you got to count before you get to Banana Zillion? I can't believe you're stifling my analytic mind like this. I mean, will you ever see me as an intellectual equal? Not if I keep bringing it. The number theory is real. You just need to admit it to yourself. I am not backing down on this, okay? We're going to be talking about this later. Yeah. I love you too. So, are you sure this is a good idea? I know you want to reconnect with your friends. And that's fine. I got no problem with that. Obviously, you know, I can't be the only person in your life. But, do I really need to be here? I don't think they're going to want me around. I mean, I was pretty rough on you, but... I wasn't any easier on your friends. I just don't want to make anybody uncomfortable. And, I mean, I don't want to be uncomfortable either. Alright, if you say so. I'm letting you do a lot of the talking, okay? I figure the less I open my mouth, the better in this situation. Oh, speak of the devil. There's Zack. I wonder where the other two are. Uh, he looks confused. And now he looks upset. Hey, so nice to see you. What's, um, what's he doing here? Your what? You're joking, right? This is some kind of prank? No, no, no. I, I don't believe that. I absolutely refuse to. I... Why? Don't you remember the things he did to us in school? Never beating us up like his friends doesn't make him any better. He still allowed it to happen. He's just less of a psycho. Or maybe more. Maybe he just likes to watch. No, no, no. People like him don't change. He's the same bum he was in school. Jeez, man, ease up a little. Ease up? You want me to ease up on you? Did you ever ease up on any of us when we asked you to? Did you ever tell any of your friends to maybe ease up? No, you didn't, did you? And now look. You've latched onto her, trying to make your pathetic... Minimum wage life a little better. I don't fucking earn minimum wage, dude. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ten dollars an hour. Look, I don't think it's cool that you brought him along. Especially since you didn't tell any of us about it. I mean, thank God I got here before Sasha or Brittany did. They probably would have kicked your ass for deceiving us like this. 
Hey, hey, please, please, just stop fighting, all right? I'm clearly not wanted here, and I'll just go wait out in the parking lot. And honey, whenever you're done, I'll drive you over to the movie theater like you guys were planning. It'll all be fine, all right? I like that idea a lot better than having this thug following us around all day. Right. I'll see you later, honey. Nah, it's fine, all right? You don't need me around to have fun with your friends. I'll go get some ice cream or something. It's cool. I love you. I'll see you. Ugh. I really cannot believe you're actually dating him. What is wrong with you? College must have really done a number on you. Yeah, well, we were all going through stuff in school. Being a teenager sucks sometimes. But all he did was make it worse for us. Now he's just trying to leech off of you. I thought you were smarter than that. You better believe he'd do something like that. You should see the rest of that posse he hung out with in school. In fact, most of them spend the majority of their time in the county jail anyway. We could go see them all at once and ask about the last crime your boyfriend got away with. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I know he's your boyfriend, and just because I don't like him doesn't mean that you can't. So let's just drop it, okay? He's not here anymore. Let's just have a good time. Oh, you know where we should go? Do you remember that store that used to have those, like, weird tubes that you'd grab onto and they'd slip out of your hands that were full of that, like, blue dye or whatever? And they had the, the balls with the electricity in them that you would touch and it would go to your fingers. What was that store called? Natural Wonders, right. We should go over there. I mean, if it's still around. I haven't been to the mall for a little while, to be honest. It's getting towards 7 o'clock. Where are the girls at? Oh, actually... I got a text about 20 minutes ago from Brittany. Oh, she said she had to work late, but she can still meet us at the movie theater. All right. Nothing from Sasha, though. I hope everything's okay. Oh, oh wait, here's a missed call. Hold on. Hey, what's up? Where are you? Oh, for real? Well, can't be helped, I guess. Babysitter canceled. Yeah, Brittany's still coming. She had to meet us at the movie theater, though. She had to work late. All right, well, next time. Yeah, I'll tell her you said hi. All right. Talk to you later. Oh, yeah, Sasha has two kids now. <laughs> She's been getting busy since you left. <laughs> Oh, they're great. They really are. Well, I mean, we're here at the exit anyway. We might as well head over to the movie theater. Ooh, man. Finally starting to feel like fall. Stayed hot for so long this year. Which probably means that we're going to have a miserable winter. So I guess I'll meet you, um... What? His car's gone? For real? <sighs> my god. I told you. He probably got embarrassed that I outed him in front of you. Well, don't worry. I'll drive you to the movie theater. But, uh, hold on a second. I'm gonna go into that service alley over there and throw these, uh, drinks away. I try not to keep too much trash in my car, you know? I'll be right back. Ugh, you would not believe what I heard from behind the dumpster. This town is such a shithole. Yeah, so I'm back there throwing my drinks away. 
and I'm pretty sure there was a drug deal going on behind the dumpster. Can you believe that? It's not even dark yet. <sighs> this place is going to hell, I tell you what. Oh, please, no. I'm sure it's just some stupid redneck trying to sell some meth or something. What? What are you... Oh, shit. Well, ain't this a blast from the past. Regular class reunion, ain't it? L look, Clive, I, I don't want any trouble, all right? Oh, now it's too late for that. Besides, we got some reminiscing to do, don't we? No, 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 no. We really need to get going. We have somewhere to be. Nah. Only place you gotta be is back in that alley there. We're gonna have us a talk. Yep, you really gotta get back in there. Get the point? Oh, God. Oh. There you go. Putting that college education to work, ain't you? Now get moving. March. Now, Clive, remember what the therapist said, all right? Just need to stay calm. Benny, I am calm. What's the problem? We're just gonna go have a talk with our friends here. If you say so. All right, get going. Uh, I, look, uh, guys, I'm telling you, I, I didn't hear anything, okay? You don't have to worry about us telling on you Telling or... on us, he says. <laughs> oh, no. I know I can't trust you. You were always a rat. What's the matter, kid? You gonna piss your pants? Come on, you're supposed to be a grown-ass adult, ain't you? We gotta make real sure you ain't gonna talk to anybody about this. Hmm, what can we do? Please, 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 you have our word. You have our word that we won't say anything. Just let us go, please. This is the real world. I don't know if you've uh, spent much time here since school. Your word ain't good for shit. Why don't I just give you a little taste of what'll happen if you talk? How's that sound? Oh, there you guys are. Oh, thank God. Hey. What's going on? <laughs> it really is a reunion. Our little bitch showed up. What the fuck is Eddie doing here? Listen up. You two want to get rough, you can talk to me. It'll be just like old times. <laughs> you think just because we tolerated you in school you got some kind of sway over us? None of us ever liked you, you little shit. Too much of a fucking pansy. Ain't gonna hurt anybody. Ain't gonna break any laws. You're just a fucking pussy. It's probably why you're hanging out with these losers. I hear he's a fucking shut-in now. Doesn't do anything but work that little fucking dead-end job of his. Living in his little wage cage. I bet these poor little fucks are the only one who give him the time of day. <laughs> you think he's screwing the girl? I bet he is. Or maybe this one screws the girl and he watches. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be more his M.O., wouldn't it? What's the matter, little pussy cuck? Too afraid to say anything? Come on, he gave us an out. Let's get out of here. All the shit you want. No, we're not going to leave him, but you we can at least get out of this bit. alley Just before one of us gets stabbed. You were Come school. on, let's go call the police. Shit, Clive, we got to stop. You're not getting past me. Nah, 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 you don't get it, Eddie. They're going to call the cops on us. Tell them we threaten them. I ain't going back to jail, Eddie, you hear me? Look, I, I ain't got anything to do with this. I was just looking to buy... I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm starting to think maybe you got the right idea. What's the matter, Clive? Huh? You were talking so big just a second ago, and now you're gonna run off? What the fuck are you saying? I thought you were gonna cut them up. Teach them a lesson. You fucking... Yet another one of your genius plans, Clive. What the fuck are you talking Assault about? two locals at the biggest hangout in town, and just magically get away with it scot-free? Shut the fuck you're up! You're way too fucking stupid to get away with something like this, you Clive. You fucking what? Always have been. Just like when you thought you could pull off breaking into Mr. Garrett's house back in school. You. And you screwed that up, too. You little fucking... If it fucking wasn't beating people weaker than you senseless, you were just worthless at it, weren't you, Clive? You f little fucking... Worthless at everything. Shut the fuck and up! you fucking hated that. You always had to fight people weaker than you. Shut the fuck up! People smaller. Which was... <laughs> hard to find, wasn't it, buddy? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you... Could never even beat me in a fight, could you? Little man. I'll kill you, you fuck! Oh, holy shit. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I don't need to go back to jail. Come on, pick Come up, on, pick Clive, up. Come on, you've always been a shit yeah. fighter. Emergency? Fucking We're at the Glenview Mall. Bitch. There's a fight out here. One of Come them me. has a knife. 
I think it's there was some kind of drug deal going on or something. You you gotta hurry. Stand still. It's our friend. He's gonna get hurt. That's right. Go down like the little bitch you are. Uh, fuck uh, you! Uh, oh shit, he fucking stabbed him. Fucking. I'll call the my ambulance. Fucking no. Oh, you son of a bitch, you broke my fucking nose. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, babe. Sorry, I didn't bring you any ice cream back. I thought you guys would still be in there. Shit. Hey. I love you, okay? Just in case I don't make it out of this. I'm really happy we got together. Oh, 